These days, you need to run ads on Amazon in order to get noticed by shoppers and make sales when you're starting out. But if you don't do this right, that ad spend can go right down the drain. So if you're at a loss with Amazon pay per click or PPC advertising and how to effectively use it to drive sales, then this is the video for you. And by the end of this video, you will know what all of the PPC ad types are, what those ads look like even off of Amazon, the difference between your listings organic and sponsored ranking, as well as the ultimate goal of running PPC ads. I'm also going to explain exactly what bidding is and how Amazon PPC works just like an auction. And if this does help you with your business, please drop this video a quick like for me. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one, but let's dive straight in. there's one really important question, and that is, what is the difference between your listings organic and sponsored ranking? Now, ranking is actually short for keyword ranking because your product ranks on different keywords differently. And that refers to how high up your listing shows on a keyword results page. Now, the first listing shown on a results page is of course rank one, the second rank two, and so on. And generally, you wanna rank as high as possible, more customer eyeballs, like likely more sales. But first, to break these up, let's look at sponsored ranking. Now, I just showed you all of the places that your sponsored listing might show up on Amazon, but you might be wondering what determines which sponsored listings show up at the top or in the middle or at the bottom. That is determined by money. The seller who offers Amazon the most amount of money per click of their ad gets sponsored rank one. The one who offers the second most amount of money to Amazon gets sponsored rank two and so on and that offer of money per click of the ad is called a bid. In short, if you want sponsored rank number one, you need to bid the most on that keyword. And that brings us to organic ranking, which is entirely different. Now, when you first add your product to Amazon's catalog, by default, you create a listing for that product. And even if it's not purchasable yet, it lives somewhere within the Amazon results, even if it's on page 112. And this is your organic listing. It's very easy to spot because it will never have a sponsored badge above it. Now, at first, before your organic listing, listing has made any sales, it's not gonna be anywhere near the top of the search results for the customer search terms or keywords that your customers use most. It might be on page six. Why? Well, Amazon knows if when a customer searches for a specific product, they show a product that has proven itself to convert into a sale, then there's a high likelihood it will convert to a sale again. So along with relevance, Amazon strongly uses the sale history of IT items for specific keywords through an algorithm to determine the organic ranking of listings for every single keyword. In short or simple terms, the more sales a product has made on a certain keyword, the higher its organic ranking on that specific keyword. So it's now clear that this is the absolute best position for your product to be in. That is organic rank one to four, the top row of organic results. Now remember the only way for you to get your product into organic rank one to four is to make a lot of sales for this keyword. But that is impossible if your product or your new product is on page six or seven of the results for this keyword. In fact, the only way to do this is to create a sponsored listing for your product and place it toward the top of results for this keyword. So let's pretend these are the top six pages, the top six results pages for that keyword on Amazon. Now you place a sponsored listing at the top of page one. Your organic listing is still down on page six. But here's where it gets interesting. Every time your sponsored listing makes a sale for this keyword, the Amazon algorithm is going to determine that your organic listing is much more likely to convert for this keyword. And so your organic listing is going to begin creeping up the results to page five, then four, as you make more and more sales, three, two, one. Eventually, you will actually have a sponsored listing and organic listing both on on page one. And you can see this in action on this keyword here where this product is shown twice. They have a sponsored listing and an organic listing. Now this organic listing has crept up from the depth
depths as the sponsored listing has sold their product for this keyword. Now, once your listing manages to get to this type of position organically, your organic rank is very high on page one, then remember, customers don't care between sponsored and organic. Your listing should therefore continue to produce a lot of sales, telling the algorithm there's a high likelihood of converting and maintaining your ranking, keeping your organic listing high up in the results where you're able to make full price sales without paying for every single click and therefore preserving your profit margins. And therein lies the ultimate goal of running Amazon PPC ads. What are the different types of Amazon ads? Now we're going to use this product as an example today, a whiskey decanter set. And let's start with the most common type of ad. These are Amazon sponsored products ads. And using sponsored products, you can choose to target keywords or other products with the aim of showing your listing in these areas where you know customers are looking for your type of product. So let's start with sponsored products keyword targeting. Now when you target a keyword, you are actually targeting a customer search term, something they've typed into Amazon and a results page comes up. When you target that keyword, you are placing your sponsored listing on that results page with the hope of converting the customer searching that area. So let's say you have listed your amazing whiskey decanter set and you know that one of the most commonly used terms by customers looking for your product is whiskey decanter set. And since that keyword is so popular, it's one of your most important keywords and you want to show your listing on the results for that keyword because you know those customers will likely buy your product. Now typing that term into Amazon here, we can see all of the results and you will notice that at the very top, these results have sponsored badges. That is because these are PPC ads. These are sponsored products, keyword targeting ads, and they are targeting the keyword whiskey decanter set. And when you choose to run this type of ad in Seller Central, this is sponsored products, keyword targeting, you are going to select this option. And if you want to run these types of ads, you are going to select sponsored products, and then you are going to choose keyword targeting. And that brings us to sponsored products, product targeting. Now, when you target products, you're actually targeting another existing Amazon listing. You're placing your listing within that listing with the hopes of converting a customer who is browsing that other listing. And here is how these look. If we click into one of these competitor listings, then we're going to scroll about halfway down and you are going to see these types of sections, products related to this item. Sometimes they are called four stars and above or more in this color. They could be called various terms, but they show other products within this product listing. And you will notice that the first result in each row is a sponsored result. This seller is running sponsored products, product targeting, and they are targeting this ASIN or this product, this competing product of theirs. But you can also use this section to position your product as an accessory or complementary product. And if you choose to run these types of ads, you are going to choose sponsored products, but then product targeting. Now that we've covered sponsored products, this brings us to brand registered ads. Now, all of the ads I just showed you can be run by all third party sellers on Amazon with a professional seller account. But the ones I'm about to show you can only be used by brand registered sellers. But that said, even though they look different in terms of their structure and format, they follow the exact same pay per click system. You can see one example example of this in this sponsored brands product collection ad shown at the top with three of this seller's products. And you can run this type of ad by selecting sponsored brands and then product collection. And then as we get to the very bottom of the page, you can see these sponsored brands store spotlight ads driving to these sellers stores on Amazon. You can set this one up by selecting sponsored brands and then store spotlight. And you even get these sponsored display audience ads which run off of Amazon, for example, on Yahoo Finance at the top here. And these will drive customers off Amazon to your listing on Amazon. And if you want to set these up, you are going to select sponsored display and then audiences. Now, I'm not going to cover the step by step process of actually launching your campaigns. I'm going over the critical fundamentals, which in my opinion are very important before that step. But worth noting here is inside just one times Amazon FBA 
their mastery. There's an entire section with 12 training videos dedicated to Amazon PPC ads. So if you're looking to learn the most advanced strategies and tactics on this subject or any other subject of building your business on Amazon, I highly recommend you use the link in the pinned comment. That's gonna take you to meet with a member of our team. You can discuss your goals with them and see whether this is a fit. So you now know what every single Amazon PPC ad type looks like in every way, shape, and form. And it may seem overwhelming and really complex, but it's not. That's because they all actually use the exact same pay-per-click system. But you now know what all of the Amazon PPC ads look like, how they can show up, what organic ranking is versus sponsored ranking. Also, what the ultimate goal of PPC is and exactly how it works, just like an auction. But I do hope you are now clearer on Amazon PPC and how it all works. And if this video was at all helpful, please do drop it a quick like for me and please comment below. What is your biggest struggle with PPC currently? Would love to hear from you there and I will catch you in one of the next videos.